I want to share an incredible story that happened to me this weekend. I was in Denver, Colorado at a ski chateau. And it was, it was, it was up in the, by the ski slopes, you know, far away from civilization or away from the airport, a two and a half hour drive. And after Shabbos, I had to make my way back towards the airport. I had a 6 a.m. flight scheduled for Sunday morning. And my, I, I booked a hotel near the airport. This way I could at least, you know, get back hopefully by like 11 o'clock or something like that and then sleep before my flight. You have to be at the airport at five because you got to get up at 4.30. It would be an early morning. Uh, so that was the plan. So I try with the app to get an Uber and searching for cars, searching for cars, searching for cars, nothing happening. So I try to lift. I go to lift, searching, 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 nothing happening. Back to Uber, back to lift. Not working. So I thought, you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. And even though a regular tax would be more expensive, I'm gonna have to go for a regular tax. Now, just to measure the difference in pricing, the lift to the from the airport to the ski lodge was $160. The taxi would be $400. So it was a huge, huge jump, but I, I know I had no choice. I had to get, get back to the, I was gonna make the flight. So I start calling the first taxi I find on the web. No answer. Next taxi, no answer. Next taxi, an answer machine, please call back during regular business hours. And basically, no taxis. Apparently, where we were located was just so in the middle of nowhere, no one functions in the evening. And uh, there's no one out there to pick me up. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. So one of the students was at the Shabbaton, who I just met, not someone like, you know, you guys, we're, we're like family here. This is someone I just met, no prior relationship, she says to me, how about I'll drive you? Now she had a car and she, she lived in Denver. I said, look, that is so sweet and so crazy, but I, I, I can't accept. And aside from the fact, I didn't want to inconvenience her, but also there are Jewish laws about being secluded for a male and female to be alone together, especially late at night in the in streets in the middle of nowhere. And even if it wasn't an absolute prohibition, you know, in today's society, you have to be so careful about putting yourself in a situation where someone could ever say something or think something or, or accuse you of something. And I, I just, even though I was desperate to get to the airport, I, that was not an option that I could consider. So she said to me, okay, fine. How about you take my car? I said, what? She said, yeah, why don't you take, take my car? I'm like, well, minute, how am I going to do with this? And basically made arrangements to drive her car to someone else's house who lived close to the airport leave it at that person's house, put her keys through the mailbox into the person's door, and then take an Uber from there to the airport. She would have to work out getting a ride back to her house from the Shabbaton and then finding a way to pick up her car. And it was like, wow. So when I just met, unbelievable love and care for a fellow Jew. And this week's topic is about the concept of joy, of Jewish joy. And there are many different levels of pleasure a person can have in life. You know, there's physical pleasure, touch, taste, smell, hearing, and sight. It's emotional pleasure like love. But one of the highest levels of pleasure is giving to others, sharing with others, caring for others, having children, being godlike, creating life such a powerful pleasure and here was a complete stranger willing to give of themselves in order to help out a person in need so as we go towards the second month of adar and head towards the climax on purim i want to give us a blessing that we should all be able to experience all the joys of life from the physical to the emotional to the spiritual to the meaningful and ultimately the most enjoyable and meaningful lives possible.